NBC North Dakota News, your news leader in high definition. Gay fucking shit. Good evening, I'm Van Tu. You may have seen our newest report, AJ, on NBC North Dakota News, and he'll be joining the weekend news team as my co-anchor. Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. Um, thanks, Van. I'm very excited. I graduated from West Virginia University, and I'm used to, um, you know, from being from the East Coast. Savings and possibly her life. <laughs> CBS 2's Serene Branson is live at the Staples Center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time. Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chase and look for the bit. They have the pit. Look at this beautiful shot this afternoon. You can wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's so it's gonna be kind of cold today. Temps in the 30s. By tonight, we should see some clearing skies. All right, you have a good one. Can I get that beat? Yeah. This is good. This is good. Ah. Yeah, you better do what we tell you. There's a sky full of strats. Better grab an umbrella. I make it rain. I make it rain on them homes. I make it rain. I make it rain on them roads. I make it rain. I make the highs and the lows. I make it rain. I make the rain and the snow. If I tell you a storm's coming, I'm not lying. Predict so well, you'd swear I'm a Mayan. Honey Michaels, mixologist. Play some football up here. Yeah, it sure is nice playing under a track. Yeah, well, go ahead. I'm not going to get in trouble. It worked in practice. Like that. <laughs> get As we go back down to the south, mostly clear, huh? Oh, my broom is backwards. Oh, that was on purpose. I don't get much practice at being a witch. Here we go. As we scan across. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> many of you, many of you resolved to lose a yes! Wait in the yes! There was no heavy packing for this trip. After the inauguration, the group plans to visit the Martin Luther King, Mon King Monument. Coming up next, the most expensive way to celebrate the president's second term. Good morning, Holly. Is there any other way that you would want to celebrate it? Hey, listen, we are live this morning at the Willard Intercontinental Hotel. It's been a key inaugural spot for 150 years. And despite all the chaos caused by the fence collapse on the bridge, tonight a young couple in love. Well, we're in the dark, but the story goes on. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Did you know I have a mompreneur idea? Do you? Yeah, and I'll, I'll give it away just for the sake of Here's one for good me. banter, if you want to call it that. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on. Okay. And he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. That hits the spot. My gums are itchy. Excuse me, guys. Ten seconds later, the second explosion goes off, according to the FBI, at the location where he dropped his police on the deck, where he dropped the uh, where he dropped his knapsack. Shepard. Photojournalist Brad Rice shows us how a forestry instructor gets his students to make and play the North American skin, uh, actually the flute in this traveling West Virginia segment. And the federal government. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Um, oh. okay. <laughs> and the students we talked to today don't think that teacher should be allowed back at school. In Lake Station, Indiana, Roseanne Teus. Auditors last year found the state. Hello, nice to see you. Lola Rodriguez de Tio. Just look. Valga, maybe. Es que estoy crancado. Ah! R con R con R con R y ra 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 ro ri ra ra okay of potentially warmer than average temperature so it looks like whoa I I am a Smurf oh my goodness oh 
All I need, all I need is the white hat. No, just go with it. I just need the white hat. There we go. Just go with it, Jeff. Come on. Thursday at 11 o'clock, they're going to take you undercover into the shady world of illegal butt injections. I'm Luann Kahn with the NBC 10 investigators. Who am I chasing? I'm so sorry. Some of us obviously are not interested, but that is the story that's coming up for tomorrow. Yeah. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah. And it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 9.45. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is snowing, <laughs> and it sucks here. <laughs> Fox 4 will join thousands in a walk for healthier babies this weekend. The March of Dimes March for... <laughs> including... Okay. And Fiona will be taking part in this, I think. Quite an, accomplish for an accomplishment for an 11-year-old, I think. A lot of people are uh, pretty jealous of, and Gail said all of his classmates are very jealous. And as I just mentioned ago, we don't know if the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl. I think as of right now, listening to all of the fans and uh, fans behind me... Um, they don't uh, really care about that at this point. They're focused on this game, this huge win, this record-breaking win for uh, Tom Brady uh, with all these touchdown passes thrown tonight. Uh, definitely a very incredible game here. Up next on the list is we're going to hear a lot more about. Very cool. Kathy Fountain. Oh, this is cool, too. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I just got a sea lion kiss. I was somehow assaulted. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Is that a smile? Oh, that's a smile. Good. Anything with lion in the title makes me nervous. Hey, we're hanging out with we're hanging out with sea lions, everybody. This is KBAK Eyewitness News Morning. Well, um. <laughs> The words rock star may actually not do it justice. It may actually be an understatement, especially when you're talking to young classical penis, pianists. Uh, and I speak uh, for all of us <laughs> graduates. I'm so excited about it. This is Prime News, first at 5.30. Kia ora, good evening. calming overnight tonight and by the way 31 days 31 days until spring <laughs> hi Kevin <laughs> man them jokers was big size of a quarter dog on many said it sounded like nothing they've ever heard before he said kapooya kapooya and your boy that hell just came in I looked at my open my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running and ran to my restroom but then I called my mama to see what she all right. Winter weather warning right now. Here's a live look at the Fox 6 snow stick. This is out on the weather dick. This is a look at the backyard. You can see the shadow of one of the dogs we've been watching. There he is. There's one dog. There's both of the dogs that we spotted in the backyard right there in the middle of your screen. Um, and you can see there are that one dog is is uh, chained up right now. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming, but one feline in Northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the Old Town Pet Resort, <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> good morning. Let's begin with the stock market. So far, so good. Uh, Warren. Oh, I am thinking that he lost. Sorry, his Q, earpiece. having a, a little difficulty here. That's okay. We'll just explain uh, what's yeah, going just on. Yeah, came unplugged, but uh, you right. know that's live TV, and we're getting plugged right back <laughs> in here. So I'll be able to hear you in just a second. And uh, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. The jury. <coughs> До окончания основного времени матча.
Что это? Где сюжет? И что теперь? Может, вы скажете, что я попрощался, и все? Та она и Фридушка уже готова, да? Она не здесь, кстати? по бо бо по бо 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 Надоело! Надоело! Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up here in 20 seconds. We're going to go to HE. We're going to dive down the runway, accelerate, oh, and then we're going to do a, a knife edge one way, and then we're going to go back the other way. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Picking up speed. Okay, we'll get ourselves. Here we go. And we go. Right, and then we go left. And let's go. Squeezing. Squeezing. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Oh. Må ikke ejeren af bilen her bag mig næste gang overvejer i... Ej, shit. Okay. They could get a new poop, Pope, sooner than expected. Coming up, there's still plenty of time to take part in our last Stuff a Butt, a bus event of the season. We'll hopefully get confirmation either way in the next hour or so. Business still not completed here. Chris Hewton, the manager, still here on site at Carrow Road. Of course, 50 Cent here. I gotta go talk to Danica Patrick. Good to see you. The goats will be here through Saturday, and they're very friendly. From the Manatee County Fair, Linda Carson, ABC7. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! <laughs> you, you got your camera on? Huh? Don't touch me, sir. It only costs 20 to 35 bucks sir? to bust this man in the mouth. Sir, who are you? None of your business. Then what do you have? Why are you talking? Don't touch me. This is assault right now. And we'll call the police if you don't like that. Good, good. Let's get him down here. Your son's facing some pretty serious charges, and you seem to be back in business now. In a new place where people don't know you. We'd like to... Don't you dare attempt to go in my business. Don't you dare. Now you better get your shit and get it gone before that man gets here. Well, we'll be, we'll be calling the police and we'll, you'll be arrested for assault, sir. You just punched me yeah, in the face. He's trying to get in. in. No sir, one you, were invited, holding the, you were holding the door. No one invited you in there. And you didn't tell us not to go in either. And you just punched me in the face. Yeah, and I'm going to punch you again. There's Holly Baker right there. Good morning, Holly. When you're a quarterback at Alabama, you see that lovely lady there. She does go to Auburn. I want to admit that. But she also, this Alabama, and that's A.J. McCarron's girlfriend, okay? And right there on the right is D.D. Bonner. That's A.J.'s mom. Wow, I'm telling you, quarterbacks, you get all the good-looking <laughs> women. Ah, it's a, what a beautiful woman. Wow. He's, A.J.'s doing Whoa. Some, some things right down in So if you're a youngster in Alabama, start getting the football out and throw it around the backyard with pop. And look at that crowd gathered now. That's Morgan Freeman, I think. Right there in the Capitol steps. Bill Russell, I'm sorry. Oh, Thank Russell. you, David Rudnick. <laughs> Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! How's it going? How's, is the weather good? Yeah. 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 Is that fantastic? All right, fantastic. Mr. President! Wow. That's huge. There you have it, the first interview with the newly re-inaugurated 44th right. President of the United States. Wow. Mr. Vice President! 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 Hey, how you doing? Come on, cut Come on! Come on! Whoa! They won't let you! Are you done that yet? Wow. Yes! Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>